Well, Greenville County could vote to increase taxes for the first time in 30 years next week. But that's only if council can agree. In order to pass a tax increase, council needs a super majority of eight votes in favor of that proposed budget. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris breaks down what this tax increase would mean for you and why council members are really at odds with this. Yeah, at the last meeting where more than 100 people showed up, council voted to pass the draft budget with a 7% mill increase. That means for a $100,000 home, you'd be paying about 28 more dollars a year in taxes. But that was just the first vote. Next Tuesday is the final vote, and one council member who originally voted in favor of the increase has changed his mind, leaving the fate of Greenville's next budget in the air. The dilemma boils down to this. Do we need a tax increase or not? There is absolutely no way to pass a budget this year without a tax increase. Councilman Ennis Fant was one of the original eight to vote in favor of the increase. His stance hasn't changed. That just because you have growth doesn't mean you get enough money to provide the services. As you have more people, then demand for services increase. Take the average home value of $350,000. Counselors say with the current mill rate, they need 221 new homes to afford the salary of just one new deputy. The state doesn't give us the option to fold our arms and not pass the budget because we're mad. Grow up and pass the budget. Other leaders believe there are other options. I've got it all spelled out. I've been working with people and some other councilmen. And um, I think we've got a plan. Councilman Steve Shaw is against the increase because he just doesn't see the need. The change has been taking a new direction, buying stuff that we're not used to buying. His proposal includes not increasing funding for things like land for affordable housing, Greenlink, and not adding new employee positions. I think we can cut the millage down to zero and still provide all the services we're providing now. But again, it takes eight to make it happen. And with only seven yeses currently, even council is unsure about what will happen if no consensus is reached. Go back to the drawing table and, and make some more adjustments to it. If we don't pass the budget, immediately you're going to lose 367 employees. And council has until the end of this month to approve a budget. And we're told um, by Chairman Dan Tripp that if no consensus is made Tuesday night, he'll hold a press conference Wednesday to talk about what happens going forward. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.